Hello everyone and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Next, bring the circle up over your head and give a stretch to one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top, and we'll bring the circle back down and sing together. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's do three things quickly. First, let's turn on our listening ears like this. Next, let's put on our thinking hats. You look for your thinking hat. I'm going to find my thinking hat. Mine is right behind me. I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Like this. Boom, 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 boom. So we have our listening ears on, our thinking hats on, and our hearts are all warmed up. And now we can get started with circle time. First, let's go over the date. When we say the date, we begin with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? May. The month is May. And today is May 26th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was May 25th. And today is May 26th. And right up here we have the year. There are two ways that you can say the year. You can say that it is 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Let's say the date one more time together. Are you ready? Today is May 26th, 2021 or 2021. And now let's get our counting fingers ready. We are going to count the remaining days, or the days that are left in the month of May. I don't think we need to stretch them very much. Let's just warm them up a little bit. Because as you can see, the month of May is almost over, so we don't have very much counting to do. After today, we have one, two, three, four, five. We only have five more days left in the month of May and then we will begin a brand new month. Let's keep those five fingers up like this, but let's add two more fingers. Now we have seven fingers and we can sing the Days of the Week song. Are you ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of the chart, right down here. I'm going to give you the sound that the day starts with, and you can say it if you know what day it is. This says that yesterday was t Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. That means that today is w Wednesday. And tomorrow will be th Thursday. But let's sing Today is Wednesday together. It goes like this. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. 
Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. And now we're going to go back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you know what the season is right now? Spring! It's springtime. But in less than a month, we will say goodbye to the springtime and we will say hello to the summertime. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and let's sing the weather song together. It goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Right down here, I have a picture of a sun and the clouds because when I look up out in my window, it looks mostly sunny, although I do see a couple of clouds. Later today, we even may get a thunderstorm where I live. My temperature chart is between orange and red because it is a very, very warm day outside. What's the weather like where you live? Look outside of your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Do you remember what sound this letter makes? Let's make that sound together. Yeah, yeah. And do you know what letter this is? Y, you're right. This is a lowercase y. Y says yeah. Yeah. And now let's take a peek and see what is inside of the letter box today. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter Y. Why? I'm going to give you some clues, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here is your first clue. This is found inside of an egg. This is the yellow part of an egg. Do you know what that's called? Let's take a peek. Yolk. The inside part of an egg is called the yolk. Yolk is yellow and yolk starts with the letter Y. Y. This is how you write a lowercase Y. Why? One more time. Let's move on to the double digit number of the week. Do you know what number this is? 25, you're right. This is the number 25. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? Two. And what about this number? Five. When you write the number 25, you write the numbers two, five, 25. Let me grab my piece of chalk and you can find something to write with so that we can draw 25 tally marks together or we can just count them together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty goes across. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 will go across. 25 tally marks. I see groups of five tally marks. Let's use our counting fingers and let's count the groups of five that we see. One, two, three, four, five. 
five groups of five tally marks makes 25 tally marks all together. But we are not done with counting yet. Let's see what's inside of the box today. I have 25 pebbles. And as I count the pebbles, I'm going to line them up across the top of the box. I'm going to make two rows of 10, and then the extra pebbles will go on the bottom. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have one row of ten. Now let's start the next row of ten with eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20. The second row of 10, so far we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and one more makes 25. 25 pebbles. So we've gone over the letter of the week, the number of the week, and now let's go over the sign of the week. This week we have been saying garden in sign language. Do you remember how to do that? Let's do that together. First, we are going to make the plants come out of the ground like this and then cover up the soil. Garden. Let's continue our discussion on gardens. So once everything is planted in the ground, there is still lots of work to do before the food or flowers are ready to be picked. Gardens have to be watered and weeded. When you weed a garden, you pull out any plants that are not supposed to be growing there. Watering and weeding the garden can take some time, but one way to cut down on all of that time is by mulching the garden. When you mulch a garden, you cover the soil with organic materials like wood chips, grass, or dried leaves. Mulching a garden prevents weeds from growing and it also holds moisture so you don't have to water as much. For today's work, you are going to collect organic material to make mulch. I'll see you outside. For today's work, you are going to make your own mulch. Now, some people buy mulch at a store, but I prefer to make my own. And the easiest way to do that is to just take some grass clippings outside and let it dry in the sun. Let me show you how to do that. So for today's work, you're going to need a pair of child-friendly scissors and some grass to cut. That's option one. If you don't have access to tall grass, instead, you can just use some dried leaves and collect them in a bucket. So this is how I make my own mulch using grass clippings. I just find some tall grass that's growing and cut it like this. And I like to collect it in a bucket. That way, once I get enough, I take the bucket and I spread the grass out inside outside in the sun and I let it dry and then it's ready to mulch my garden with and like I said before if you don't have access to a grassy yard instead you can just collect dried leaves and use that for mulch instead let's get back to circle time welcome back to circle time friends if you have your own garden that you plan on mulching using the organic material that you collect today just make sure that you mulch around the plants that you want to keep growing. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. 
Now it's time to sing our goodbye song together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.